Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. So tonight we will be racing our second qualifier of the Daytona 500 series. And um, so this video is going out to Steve Magro. Um, he wanted to see how the track was put together and try to get some idea of what's needed for a digital slot car track. So this little segment is for him. So this is underneath the slot car table. Don't really show too much. Let's see, there is a big Carrera digital set. And then these are all the empty boxes of all the track pieces that I have. And then there is my roller cart with all the track on it. So whenever I need to make a track of any sort, I basically have enough of all the pieces and spares basically make pretty much anything you can imagine. Um, the problem is when someone needs to ask me how much does this set cost, I'm at a bit of a loss. And when they say what pieces did you use, I'm also at a bit of a loss because you need code numbers. So anyway, we'll try to piece this together as best we can. So here I have a Carrera catalog. You can check this out on websites too. Um, but any of these will do as a starting base. So and I prefer the wireless because when you're racing, you know, and you've got nothing tying you to a table, you can have everybody standing at different corners. Not the best track for it to demonstrate, but you know, you got a guy over here, right? And then you've got a guy that's over here, this sort of thing, and all the way around the tables. So that if a car comes off the track, someone can be there to pick it back up and put it on. So I prefer the wireless. So, so here we got the Carrera catalog. This is 2016. Okay, I'm hand-holding the camera, so bear with me. Um, so let's just say you take... Racing Spirit comes with two, a portion of Lamborghini. It's 20030187. So this set gives you that uh, first start finish gate, a docking station for your towers. Actually, there's other sets like this one. The Pure Speed gives you three cars station 11 straights um it's not really wireless so but at any rate you get the idea so you need some of these digital components especially a start finish gate okay so here we are with the so here we are with the book and we're on page 113 this is all the accessories and track pieces that you need to expand out your tracks in all the scales Carrera makes. So, when you're looking at your digital sets, you want to find these kind of ones that say 2.4 gigahertz on them. That's going to give you your wireless digital. So, this is the page with all the curves and everything on it. And these are the correlating part numbers. Now the problem is, and there's some expansion sets and other nice pieces. On page 116, expander bits, all this kind of stuff. Now the problem is, I have built this set, the huge oval, uh, using combinations of everything. And Kerr is also making new track pieces too. So, for what I've done on mine, there's new pieces that you can actually uh, make better than how I did it. Because at the time that I was doing this, they didn't have these pieces. They're coming out new. So, this is one you will need. See, I used two pit lanes here on mine. And I had to cross wire in behind here, as you've seen on earlier videos. But... Um, Carrera is making a new version of this piece that's going to plug in here. 
so you won't need these and you won't need to cross wire underneath anymore because the new part number that's coming out sometime is 200-30370 and that's going to be the start finish multi-lane extension piece now I have six of these controllers but each set usually comes with two sometimes three so that each one is do 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 two zero zero one zero one oh nine the uh, two point four gigahertz wireless set duo so that's what you need there I also have one of these as an additional backup in case uh, you're racing and somebody's controller goes dead two zero zero one oh one one oh so that's those are the additional X, X bits that you need. And each of these wireless controllers comes with one of these. It's a special piece of track that has the plug in it. There's actually two. And then what I did for mine, of course, is the tower. The tower number is right here, 200-30357. And that will give you your six pole positions. That's what we use here. And then, of course, I got one of these for $2 from the dollar store. It's a uh, egg timer. You just wind it. That gives you your five minutes. So, here we have a chicane, which is actually part of... Okay, where is it? This set here which is 200-10115. That gives you two crosses, a single chicane, four straights, and a couple of the 2-30 outer pieces of track, which we won't be using on this particular circuit. I bought two of those sets. Anyway, now, these straightaways here, that stretch off to infinity. You need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces. Double it for twenty. And then on the other side, you would need to double it again. So you've got forty straight pieces of track and that's just the basics okay so i don't know why the uh, camera recorded that like vertically sideways but anyway hopefully you get the point of that so i've got the um, four straights here now these ones they're your right hand and left hand switches so we are going to start this way now one thing you'll notice the controls are backward to the track. That's so that it can run the proper NASCAR circuit way. The car's turning to the left. So with that being the case, you have to actually set your electronic eyes on this side, coming like off that curve. So then your electronic eyes are there. Now each car has an electronic eye underneath that corresponds with this. I'll show you that in a minute. So, as the car comes in... Actually, let's, let's get some stuff. I'll show you that right now. Okay, so here we have a Carrera digital, digitally equipped a 132nd scale AC Cobra car. It's just an example. So if you look under here, there's the brushes and the nicely spring-loaded um, slot guide. There's the electric eye where my thumb is pointing. Right there. And there's a switch. You can turn these cars on or off. If you turn them off, they become regular evolution cars, non-digitally equipped. But if you turn them on, which usually is the switch going to the driver's side or the passenger side. Passenger side, it'll turn on the uh, digital electric eye there. So when this eye 
comes across the track and passes over this eye. See, they'll line up there. So they line up that like that. When these eyes touch each other, uh, actually prior to them touching each other, so when the car's like back here, okay, your car is coming across, right? So on your controller, you would hold this button in, the front button, of course, you've got your accelerator going down, right? So you're holding in this front button, and then when the electric eyes touch each other, they spark and not literally spark. Now oh, there's the cam strap. Okay, they will signal and switch this here electronically. So with that gate open, your car will come down here through your switch. So that's how that works. So you got to hold that button in and it'll switch it. Now the nice part is here, there's a left and a right, or a right and a left, either way. It comes in here. Now I've, I've built this separate so that you can actually change in between lanes one, two, and jump over to three and four. Or yeah, from lane 2 to lane 3, and lane back again. So these ones here, you can buy them individually. They're a single lane track. Or they also come with the, the pit. The non-powered ones come with the pit. The ones that have the power terminals in the back. Awkward camera time. I don't know if you can see it, but there, there's your ports and plugs. Those ones come with the pit lane so that you can hook power in through the pit lane. Now this one is the double crossing. And uh, from there, I've then got the left-right in reverse order for the switches. So from here, if you hold that button all the way in, your car can actually come across here, go down there, still holding the button would put you there, and then still holding the button in would put you down into there, into that tight lane right there. So that's how that goes. And then, of course, when you come around the tight lane, hold your button in, come up here, hold your button in, come up there, hold your button in and come up there, into the top lane on your wide, wide circuit. So, I'll look at the part numbers for those in a second, but now here's the other thing. I've made this styrofoam support there, just to uh, keep that embankment. All the, these red connector clips, you can kind of see this one. They go this way. There's also two that are here and here. You need to hook these ones up all the way through, or you will have no support on this piece of track and it'll flop down. Unless, of course, you want to carve some intricate triangle under there, you know, but I think it's easier just to gap them with the red pieces. So then this is the 4 slash 15 outer curve set. You get enough in a box to do a half circle. So you need two boxes over there for the other one. And this is the 3-30 high bank curve which you need two boxes there so getting back to the catalog just put that stuff down let's find those things so i think it's back here so uh for the curves where are we high bank curve so you want the R3 and the R4, which is high bank curve. The R3 is 3-30. Part number is 200, 20576. And for the bigger outer one, it's 200, 20579. The crosses, 
Ah, here we go. So it shows those. So you, I actually needed four of those, two of each, two lefts, two rights. Left change section is, all these are 200, so I'll just go 30343, three, and the right is 30345. You needed two of those. You need a single double lane. Or if you don't want to use these, you could actually buy five of these and then be able to switch like crazy all over there. Anyway, um, number three. 30347 is a double lane change section. Now there, you see number 13. That is your single lane straight. You need two of those, or possibly four, depends. Uh, 30341. Yeah, you'd need four of those if you don't use the pit lane, but it says here to be used when extending the pit lane or a narrow section. So these are the ones that have the power locks into the back. But as you can see, here's the pit lane. Comes with a bunch of those single pieces there. If you want to go the pit lane route, it is number 30356, the pit lane. And that is basically that part of the uh, oval circuit. So now Stephen, or Steve was saying that this might be the only digital oval, at least that he knows of, that I created. I don't know how true that is, but uh, at any rate, if it is, that's very nice. <laughs> that I made it. So now with, with that in mind, you can make one too. So basically you need a start-finish gate, the up-and-coming extension to the start-finish gate to get your four lanes, a whole load of track, and the biggest outer curves you can get. And just so you get some proportion of size, this entire table each table section is eight feet, so we got two of them, six, 16 feet. I've got a two foot by four foot here. So we're already at 18 feet going that whole length. Um, I might be able to make it 20 if I take this table and then break these two tables in half right here. Push this one out that way take the uh, two by fours and rotate them so that just this section is supported and do four feet going out that way which would be about there somewhere and then take these eight foots and stuff them to the end that should give me 12 16, no wait 20 feet 20 feet of track but this is a 16 footer so there you have it. So we will be bringing you some race footage coming up soon. All right, so we have a special night tonight. Fred's not here, so we're able to race six at a time on our NASCAR track. So I'm taking the first race out so I can film this thing. Are you ready, Kevin? Yep. Okay, push the button. Ooh, I get the, the button. <laughs> and they're off. <laughs> there we go. Who am I pushing? Oh. Oh. I'm pushing the Black Widow, so that's me! And the crowd's going wild. Oh! Holy nuts! For the first accident. Oh! Oh! This is the first slide. He's number six. I'm number six. So hopefully I don't get hit trying to film this. Okay, I'll lap up. How are you a lap up? How fast? Really not. You change lanes. That's out.
I'm just going to push Kevin because I'm happy with my position in that doing that. All right. We're changing lanes. Oh. 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 Oh, no, now you're getting deep in the middle. <laughs> Door two up in the middle. <laughs> They're racing neck to neck. Bumper to bumper. Oh my gosh, I'm dizzy. You could have said, this is going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I don't want to change lanes, but I don't want to have to do it. Oh, oh, Rick. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, oh, another Rick. Oh, put me in. Matt, Matt. Huh? Huh? You know, guys, I'm not pressing my button. Guys, guys, something weird is happening. Is your car driving itself? Oh. Not anymore. I fixed it. It's all good, guys. Good. Damn it, I went down the third. Am I still winning? Something's happened to yeah. Devin's car. I went down the third. That was we don't know what. <laughs> Who's number oh. two? Matt is. Where's Matt? Right there. Got it going? Oh, okay. There it goes. I'm losing power quite quickly though when I go across the uh, what you call uh, gates. I'm smelling burning as well. I'm pretty sure that's my car. They are filming this cross for Steve wow. down in Australia. Look at the look at the lane changes. Oh! Pushed off into the center. Shit! I tried. Sorry, Mark. Oh, I'm feeling so ill. <laughs> You guys are so That was sweet. Oh, oh. For my brain. Okay, go, Josh. Don't know how well that filmed. <laughs> I saw the oh. oh, Matt, right in the small lane. Rear ended. Oh, okay. I oh, soon, apparently. shit. Hey, language. <laughs> so we're doing a 10 minute race because we have less people. There we go. About halfway through. <laughs> I'm assuming that you did that. Yeah. How hard I was going slowly. Ah, you don't want go. the bottom lane. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Josh is out. Stuck in the inside lane. I want to lane. get out of my last place boot the that infield. I last week. There we go. How's that for a shot? And Come on, you there's a report in the ship. So with no interior car. My entrance is Chevy Wing Championship that year. Oh, over the embankment. Mark's out. Or are they going to be absolute traffic? Small traffic. It's an insane race. I'm just going to look forward at one point as I'm getting quite ill standing here and I feel like her one. We got another five minutes. Oh, <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, I'm probably going to puke and we're at 125 laps. <laughs> I love it. The lap counter well. just breaks again. About four minutes left. 
Oh, 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 I don't want to be in this predicament. Oh, there goes Matt off the table. Lap counter can do 200 laps, so 250, I think. Ow! That's not fair, Matt. Just hold it down. You're trying to destroy my race. Damn it! Yeah, right. That was a little great. Real NASCAR. Oh, I know, right there. Yeah, I get it. Real NASCAR. Change lanes. No. There. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, I really don't want to change lanes. What was the point of running six cars if only four are going to make it halfway? That is the point. <laughs> Three. If only three are going to make it happen. You all out the full out on your own? I have four. You have to go up and down and up and down and you want to make it that way. I'm just thinking with this lane now because you guys all crowded the next lane up. I was using that lane because it's safer. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but Steve, it's not no, a safe, no, and I have a lane. Yeah. But right now, safe is where, right now, safe is where no, nobody else is. Like you could fall off, still be in the lead. I just fall off. This is the longest I've stayed on the track since last week. Yeah. <laughs> of course, this is up. Yeah. Last yeah. week I couldn't see anything. Last my car either giving up or being shunted off my ass. Is that a little bit? No, it's you. <laughs> the reason I threw a car at you, Alan. <laughs> the violence at Monster Hobbies goes up to a new level as Alan gets a petty car chucked in his face. <laughs> Tune in last week when you missed it. So uh, we're just about to have a better ring soon. Oh, there it is. Everybody's off the track except for Matt. I'm about to go ahead and off the buzzer went, no. Okay, stop. So we got uh, my front bumper. Number six, five, two, three, four, one. Who's six? Alan's third. Alan's six. Alan six. Uh, so Alan, Kevin, Matt, Devin, Mark, and Josh. So we're at 299. If we go one more lap, does it stop counting or is it 399? 299 laps. So happy! 100. No, 199. Third yeah. place and I've never been dancing for third place before! <laughs> so we had a 10 minute race um, last night because Fred wasn't there. So we were able to actually put in some extra minutes because usually we break it into four on and four off for the first races with eight people so that everyone can race. But uh, we decided to do a um, seven man race with one person getting a buy and just moving ahead so that's how I filmed it anyway we can go over now to the board and look at the standings for the end of the night which is pretty awesome so here we are at the board and I ended up with 32 points for monster hobbies Matt got 28 Devin got 19 uh, Mark got 11, Kevin got 34, Fred didn't show up, but that's okay. Um, Alan got 44, and Josh got 18. So when we come over here to the other side of the board, I ended up taking Fred's place for third position with nine, uh, 69, uh, 68 points. Matt is in fifth with 59. Devin is um, fourth with 64 points. Mark is eighth with 43. 
Um, Kevin is second with 91. Fred fell all the way down to seventh place, still with 47. Alan is at 107 points, puts him in first. And Josh is sixth place with 56 points. So next week is our last week at this oval, which I didn't really realize this, but I figured this was how Daytona looked. I never actually checked the Daytona map, and I've got this really wrong. So I'm including a picture of what the Daytona racetrack is supposed to look like um, from Carrera. This one is actually Martinsville, but I erroneously put the high bank curves on it. So this will be our last week of this, and then at the on our fourth race, I'll uh, actually build the Martinsville track by lowering down the corners to what they're supposed to be. However, this has actually proved to be quite an interesting race. I'm not sure I might actually make the right Daytona next, just by rearranging this track a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, we'll see you soon. Bye.